What is up everybody? I'm so excited for today's video. We got a special guest here today. Um, the sneakerist. Go follow him on IG. I don't know. I'll put his tag up on the screen. This guy has the Dior Jordan 1s for retail, guys. We're going to get a detailed look from him from his house today, guys. You have, do you have an apartment? Is that where you live? A villa. Oh, okay. A villa. Alright, let's check him out. Wow. So basically, these pairs are pretty crazy. That's insane. As you can see. So basically, the shoe comes with two pins. One says Air Dior on them. And then the back has like this little silver uh, pattern type thing. Wow. And the other one has like a Jordan one. The shoe itself is insane. Yeah, that's... So basically, the leather quality, let's start with that. The leather quality is super smooth. As if you just applied like crack protect. It's basically like water resistant and everything. Oh, cool. Uh... We have the swoosh. This is handmade. This is pretty crazy as well. Yeah. And then, yeah, go for it. Oh, okay. It looks uh, like so a ripped up I, bag, kind of. Okay. It, it kind of looks like a bag, the design on the swoosh, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Does like, it feel like it? It's only like, used for bags, right? Yeah, does it feel like it too? Uh, to be honest, it feels like normal leather. Oh, okay. You know, like the D's and stuff like that, those feel like, you know, they, those have bumps on it. All right, them. all right. That's what it feels like. Uh, so my pair is 7,203 out of 8,500. Wow. Which is pretty unique. Yeah, that's insane. At the back, we have the Air Dior. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Everything is legit, as you can see. So we'll get to the bottom right now. The bottoms, we have a Dior one right in here. Wow. And in the other pair, we have an Air Dior one, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. That clear sole is really great. Yeah, I wouldn't like wear these to be honest. Cause yeah. The second you wear these, like the boost, I mean, like the sole is. Yeah, sore. yeah, yeah. So, if we were to open the box, one second. Something like this. Then you would open it, open it, open it. And obviously, this is the receipt of authenticity. One second, guys. Ivan, you can cut this part out, right? Okay. Ivan. Yeah. I'm opening up the receipt. Okay. So, here you have it, guys. So, basically. The two hang like those silver things that I showed. They come with their separate like bags, which is pretty crazy. One for the Jordan and one for the uh, AV or symbol. And these are also like handmade the pockets and everything. In this one, we have cream laces. If you want, oh. I can show them to you. Yeah, I didn't think they came with different laces. That's cool. Yeah, they did. So basically. They came with laces that are like similar to butter laces, like laces, butter styling, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Though. I mean, that's pretty creative. And oh, also, I forgot to mention the tip of these has like a Jordan with a Dior symbol on oh. it, which is pretty detailed. Like the shoe itself is going to go up in the past. It's going to go up. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to hold them? Uh, repeat that, please. Are you going to hold them? I won the raffle. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna like? Are Are you selling them? Are you gonna sell them? No, for now I'm not selling these. All right. I don't know. Maybe in the future. Okay. So basically, I have the like the, these come with like the other insoles, which have all the or like the pattern written on it, and then they come with separate like dust bags, each for one of the shoe, and that wow. basically explains the shoe itself. Wow, that's insane. So, these are pretty crazy. Yeah. And another pair that I would like to show as your host. That's absolutely insane. The, the Grateful Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I check them out. I personally like these better than the Dior. Really? And let me explain why. Okay. Yeah, the normal Nike SB box. 
I know. Colors and everything. Yeah, it's just so. Basically. It's just so. G. So basically, we have these shoes right here. Uh, these shoes are super unique to, unique to me since they are the first stuff that I ever had. Oh, okay. In my life. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so the the reason why I love these shoes so much is because of how unique these shoes are. So basically, uh, one second. Okay, now it's better. All right. So basically, these shoes uh, have like this pocket inside of the tongue, which you can store anything that you want, which is pretty crazy as well. Yeah, this is that's super cool. Detail. These also come with a blue pair of laces, as you can see right here. Oh yeah, that's what I would I'm do. Keeping these dead stock, I'm not planning on selling them since okay. it is my first stock. Yeah. But these are also pretty crazy. The green color is actually. One of the more limited ones you couldn't copy yeah, yeah, yeah. on Nike sneakers. Since uh -huh. It was uh, a skate shop exclusive. Yeah. There. What skate shop did and you get them from? A select shop, Frank. It's at, like a store in Dubai. Oh, and, like, okay. You enter the raffles with like photos. Yeah. And then you get a chance to win these. All right. And you want a raffle? Also, upcoming, we're getting a pair of Civilist Dunks in a US 12, which is pretty crazy. Wait, what dunks? Civilist dunks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know those ones. I don't think I've seen those. And those are like the ones where like if you like heat them up, like they change color basically. Oh, are those the new ones that just came out? Yeah, yeah. The rainbow they're, ones, kind of. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Those are those are fire. They basically like all black, white, black. But then like the second you like get them to the sun or like you move in them. Exercise, oh okay color, that's cool. cool yeah um so I, yeah do you have any questions yeah how many i was wondering about your zen greens the jordan ones yeah. that came out how many pairs did you pick up because like on ig you, sh you showed like you, that you had a ton of pairs how many did you get uh i actually got two pairs i sold oh. one of them and one of them is Personals, which is right here. Oh, what size? It's kind of un Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, yeah, you're breaking out a little bit. What size are they? Uh, oh, no. They're size 11. Oh. It's like a green to red trend. Okay. What size are you in general? Because, so like, you've got different sizes in your collection. So, I usually go for, like, the higher size, size 11.5, and 13 in my Yeezys, as you can see, I have the Belugas here. And those fit you? Which are pretty clean. Have you worn them yet? Hmm? Have you worn them yet? Yeah, yeah, I have worn them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's basically my sneaker collection. I've sold a lot of sneakers, so if you do check out my channel and my I'm sorry, my Insta, at the sneakers right there at the bottom. Okay. It'd be pretty cool if you follow. Yeah. Them and like Go follow him, guys. Twitter. Thank you, guys. Uh, wait. What else was I gonna ask you? How many pairs of the Zion Yeezys did you get? I was wondering that too. Zion Yeezys. Yeah. Didn't you get a few to sell? Uh, I got one pair. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got one pair and I sold. How much money so did you make off of it? Like what? Thousand? Oh, not much to be honest. Like here in Dubai, like in Abu Dhabi, they have a lot of stock, so basically they oh. didn't go for that much. Okay. Like people are selling it for like retail and oh. under retail. Wow. So I sold mine for one point two k, which was because like the second they got them, I sold them. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's good. Okay. So do you pretty much like? Are are you pretty much able to get almost everything there? Just pretty lucky to be honest winning the dealers winning these i guess these yeah yeah i'm not able to get every single thing but i am going to start botting so like i have a higher chance of getting okay. some shoes yeah. in my area etc since like without bots basically it's hard to call pairs like these yeah of you're course not, like entering the raffle or anything like that yeah 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 that's it basically are you going to be going for the biohacks i was also meaning to ask you have you seen them yet 
The biohack ones. Let me pull up a pick. Sneakers app. Uh, no, I haven't seen them. Oh yeah, they're they're dropping on uh this Friday actually. Let me let me pull up a pick. Wait, the Jordan ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These right here. I don't know if you've seen them yet. Oh, those are yeah, yeah. I saw them. I saw them. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. Those are clean, but I I like the dunks, like the space of the dunks. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look really similar. I know, but these have like yeah. these have good resale value. Go for them. They have good resale value, cause uh, Travis Scott wore them or something. I don't know why, but. It's, oh yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. These are going for like four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Let me check. Wait, what are? Uh, Jordan. Oh, what's he talking about? Jordan. What does this kid want? Biohazard. Is it Biohack or Biohack? Yeah, Biohack, Tokyo Biohacks. That's what they're calling them. Yeah, so basically these are going for $300, $400 right now. These are a clean pair of shoes. They look similar to the, you know, Union ones. But yeah, I think they're unique itself. So yeah. tomorrow I'm going to be going for the Nike uh, Chicago Dunk. Oh, are those going to Abu Dhabi? Those are going to be in Dubai? Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought they're they were just Europe. Drop out in sneakers. Mm, okay. Yeah, for us, we don't get them. <laughs> we, don't get them we don't get them here yet uh, until like later in September. Because, I don't know, they're like, a, they're like a Europe release or something. Like, they're not on sneakers. Like, at all, for us. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard, like... You know these like these release pretty late for you and I yeah I know commenting. yeah like you're like oh wow are those unreleased and stuff I like know that. these release like three or four months before that like, it released in like US yeah US. I know so, I know got, but like some pairs release earlier on you got like okay sorry some pairs release early in the U S and some pairs release early in, like the U A E yeah so it depends on what pair we're talking about uh huh. Did you, Can you show us your sneaker collection? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Did you, uh, yeah, I was wondering if you, I also meant to ask you. I, I picked up these right here. And I was wondering if you managed to pick up these. The Tokyos? Yeah, the Japan Tokyos. Uh, I actually didn't really go for them since I'm not the fan. Okay. Like the color of like silver, all silver, but yeah. resale value is pretty good. I know. You could make about yeah. good profit. So they look. Buying on selling them? Uh, no, I I was originally actually when I bought these I was gonna sell them, but when I got them in hand I really liked them. I don't know why, but like, they don't look as good on video or in pictures as they do in real life. Like you can't really know until you get them. I think they're creative. Like I like the how the tongue says like two thousand one, two thousand twenty. And then like the insoles oh, yeah, yeah. different. I saw those in the video. Yeah, everything's different about them, so I'm probably gonna keep them honestly. And yeah, it's harder to tell. Obsidians. Yeah, the obsidians yeah, I'm sorry. keeping. Yeah, I'm keeping the obsidians. Those are my first pair of ones, so I gotta keep those. Wait, yeah, like what size was it again? Yeah, these are tens. These are size ten right here. Uh huh. Yeah, those the. Are, those are insane. I would hold them as well. Even yeah. If they're used. I know. Like, those are such a clean pair. I know, yeah. And I union laced them too. See that? Right there. How do you do that? Um, I'm not trying to steal anybody's method, guys. So I'm not... That's This is why I haven't made a video about this. But it's it's basically Thomas the Franchise method. It's a YouTuber that I watch. Uh, so I'm not trying to steal it or anything. But it's basically... You kind of lace up... Just get like... You use both of the different lace colors. Like... And you put the first, you put whichever color you want on the bottom first. I do the dark blue, in all the way, and then you kind of have to pull them through the through the back of the tongue, and then put them under the insole. And it's actually not com it's actually not that uncomfortable. You can watch a video. I can send it to you later. It's not that hard. I mean, yeah, it takes some time to get perfect, but it's not really that hard. I can send you a video. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But you got a sneaker collection yourself. I mean, we're all good here. Yeah. A decent one. I mean, you have the Dior one, so it's nothing compared to yours, but... It's all right. Yeah, but that's, like, luck. But, like, are you planning on buying a boat at all, or no? Nah, I don't really... Nah, I'm not into botting that much. I just generally go for manual. And I've had some decent success throughout the year so far. Yeah, I saw, like, you got University Gold, right? Yeah, I sold those already on GOAT. Uh, Two pairs of Zion Yeezys. 
Um, I'm probably gonna hold one of them. Do you think they're worth holding? I think they are. Not, not really. Unless you, you don't think so. Like two years and keep them dead stock. Yeah, I don't know. I would rather like quick sell them. Yeah, but I can't make anything off of them yet. I can't really make that much off of them yet unless I go local. Exactly. Uh, so, do you know any stores that have the order in one? Like, how much are they selling? You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can pull it up right now on IG. There's a store nearby. Let me pull it up. They posted on their IG that they have them. I'm not sure how much they're going for, but we can we can check right now. Hold up. Uh. Because I was like planning on selling them for ten thousand dollars, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, on StockX, they're going for about seven k, I think. Seven thousand yeah, like, dollars. You have to pay import and charges, which like bring the shoot to nine k. Yeah. Charges and stuff like that. It brings it to like ten k. All right, this store here has the high Dior ones. I'm not sure how much they're going for though. Let me go. I don't even know if they still have them because I couldn't find it on their website the last time I checked. But we can pull it up right now. Let me go on their website. Like, you know what's super unique about this shoe? Yeah. It's like there's only about like ten of like these size. Wait. So if there's about like, I don't know, but there's like almost about ten pairs of this size, eleven point five. Or like was it twenty? I'm not sure. So I'm like well, one out of twenty of like the people that have a size eleven point five, which is super crazy. Yeah. You know, I remember like signing up for the raffle, being like, oh well, nothing's gonna happen. But then like the second it hit me, I know. I was, like sitting in the living room, you know, I was just chilling and like stuff like that. And this mail got like, I got this mail saying like, congrats, you won the deal order in one. I started freaking out. I told my dad, like, Dad, Dad, I want these. And then my dad was like, how much? And then I told him, like, the retail price. And then he just stopped talking to me for, like, a, a day. Yeah, it's 2K. I was, like, explain to him, like, like, the, like, their value and how it's going to increase and stuff like that. Agreed. So, I, I won't be selling the Jordan 1 yours, to be honest. They're, like, a part of my sneakers. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> How can you afford to keep them, though? I can't afford to keep anything nowadays. I have to sell everything or I'm going to go broke. And I'm not going to be able to afford to buy anything else. I mean, yeah, but the thing is, so, I, for example, right now, I'm getting a pair of creams, cream whites, for about 1,100 dirhams. So that's like, what, $300? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to sell them for 1,500 dirhams. You see small profits like these. Yeah. You build them up, and then like eventually you get the chance to buy the pair. That's true. So it's all good. Yeah, I haven't made anything like really though. Like to be honest, I barely made anything. Like. If you sell your UNCs, like then you'll make. Something. I know. I'm not going I would to though. Sell them, to be honest. No, nah, oh, bro. Yeah, it's your choice though. Yeah. No way. Let's check the Dior's in your size. Oh yeah. So, lowest ask in eleven and a half is 6.8k dollars so yeah that's good profit that's on stock x yeah definitely but if i hold these for like 10 years and like keep them in an oxygen free place and keep like good like you know keep care of them yeah they'll go for way more sure. i know yeah you could if All you hold on to those why like knees drop is because no one is buying shoes right now, you know? Everyone's in quarantine. No one needs to buy shoes. Yeah. That's why like, prices on most of the shoes drop by like 20% on most pairs, unless they're hype. Yeah. Basically, that's why like it's pretty low now, but yeah, I'm going to keep these. Dude, I didn't make anything off of these university cults. I didn't make anything. And now they're going for even less. Yeah, bro. Do you think these are ever going to go up? How much are they going for right now? 240 Lotus Ask. That's terrible. Is it retail like 190 Yeah, but I didn't. I paid 205 ship. And StockX took so much of the money. No, GOAT. I sold them on GOAT. And they took so much of the money that I barely made anything. How much did you make? Like $40? Uh, no, because I made like nothing. Cause on goat, I sold them for two forty, but they took like almost all the money that I would have made. Let me check. Uh, yeah, I took all the money back. Uh, it was two hundred and twelve. That's how much I got paid for them. 
I took all the money. 212. You made like 22 dollars in profit. That's pretty good. No, nah, I didn't make anything. Cause I bought them for 205 ship. Oh, 205. So yeah, I didn't make anything. You 12, 212, right? Yeah, so I didn't make anything. And that is true. Yeah. That's why I don't sell them both. Yeah. So what I well, what do you do? Like I joined these like sneaker groups in the UAE where they sell for much more than stockx prices. Okay. And there's more buyers obviously since it's in Dubai. Since it's like in Abu Dhabi, there's more people paying like willing to pay money for these shoes. Okay. Like because they don't really know about, like about so, like for example, if like a guy had these shoes in Dubai. He could sell these for less than retail and have no idea what he's doing. You understand? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, that's why I, I never sleep on steals. Like, these, and like, the Q, I got these for 2,200 germs. Okay. Which is like $600 with, like, human races. Yeah. Uh, so, basically, I sold the human races for 600 germs. Uh-huh. Which made it, so I bought the shoe for yeah, 400 dollars. When it's going for seven hundred dollars. Those are going for seven hundred, are they? I haven't checked in a yeah, while. Size oh wow. 12.5. It's insane. Yeah, those really went up in price. So what happened? These are a little bit, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, those are those are those are fire. I've always wanted a pair of those to be honest. That's why you never sleep on Steel's month. I if know. you want, join the groups that I am in. They can ship it to like anywhere in the US and stuff like that. So these groups sell for cheap as well? They sell for cheap and sell for more sometimes. It depends on the shoe you're trying to buy. Uh, is this like, on Instagram? Like a shoe? Yeah, sorry. Is this on Instagram? Is that where you're joining all these groups? Uh, no, WhatsApp. WhatsApp? Okay. Yeah, uh, we can work that out later if you want to. Yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. I guess that's it. I guess. Yo, what's that? What's yeah. that? Reese's Puffs in the background. Oh, those are Travis Scott Reese's. Oh uh, yeah. Have uh, do they still have the cereal in them? Cause I've seen empty boxes where people like sell the empty boxes. Yeah, yeah. I actually gave 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 these away. Uh, these. Since you want, like, including UPS, they don't allow food in it. They're very strict. Oh. So, I have to, like, ship it out empty. But, yeah, oh. these are nice. Okay, how much were those? I bought these for, like, 30 germs, which oh, is, like, what? Okay. $9 yeah. or okay. something like that retail. Yeah, like those, are, those, are, those are pretty fire. So, I have some tips for you if you want to cop on sneakers. Yeah. Uh, so, basically... I'll be telling this to you in private, but if you guys, if the watchers want to know, uh -huh. they can go follow me at the sneakers right here at the description of the YouTube link, and then I can tell them. Okay. All right. So, I guess we're going to end the video there, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite sneaker from the sneakerist collection was, and peace out, guys. Let's get to 700 by the end of the day. We're so close. It's unbelievable.